Circle W. We've got this. All right. What you want to look for is what you know to begin with. We've got this inscribed angle, 35 degrees. You want to know what this inscribed angle is, TW, TVQ. So let's use our inscribed angles to figure out some stuff. I see that this is my inscribed angle, R. Well, let's see. That's this angle, S, R, T. Well, vertex is R. My two endpoints are S and T. So I'm going to find out that this is the intercepted arc. If the inscribed angle is 35, the intercepted arc is double. So if this is 35, this has to be 35 times 2 or 70. I know you're probably thinking, well, that's not very helpful. I need this. We're going to work our way there. So to work our way there, here's what we're going to do. You have to see that there is a diameter in this picture. Diameters are important. They weren't in the previous two problems. What diameters do is they split circles in half. Okay? So if this is my diameter, I know this is a semicircle, and so is this. Semicircles have 180 degrees in them. So from S to T to Q, that's 180 degrees. I already know that ST is 70 degrees. So I know that TQ should be the rest of the semicircle. Well, 180 minus 70 would give me the rest. 180 minus 70 is 110. So I know that TQ is 110 degrees. Huh. Well, I need this inscribed angle. I'm going to trace that in purple. This is angle V, or T, V, Q, where the vertex is V. My endpoints are T and Q, so my arc is TQ. Huh. If the arc is TQ, I know what TQ is. TQ is 110. Oh, well, if the arc is 110, we know the inscribed angle is half of it. So half of 110 is 55. Problem's done. Okay? Let's see if we can figure anything else out. This is my last problem. This particular problem. Now, the second problem we did had a triangle inscribed in it. This one has a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure inscribed in it. This ends up having a special property. You might be able to figure it out, but I will explain it at the end. So let's see. With these problems, most of the time what will happen is I'll give you an inscribed angle, which is made up. The inscribed angle will intersect an arc that is made up of two pieces. You'll see what I mean in a second. All right. So let's look here to see what intercepting, intercepted arcs we have, what inscribed angles we have. I have one inscribed angle that I know the measurement of. I'm going to try to use that to my advantage right away. So the inscribed angle is x, z, x, w. I'm going to trace that, z, x, w. Where x is the vertex, let me make that better. X is the vertex, Z and W are my endpoints. So I'm going to trace that. Z all the way to W. I know that my inscribed angle is 84. And the inscribed angle is supposed to be half of that arc. So if this is 84, that arc should be 84 times 2. Double 84. So if I multiply 84 times 2, I get 168. From Z all the way to W is 168. That doesn't say from Z to Y is 168. It doesn't say from Y to W is 168. It says from Z all the way to W. Z, Y, W is 168. Let's use that fact to our advantage. I don't know Z, Y. I do know Y, W. And I know that these two pieces are supposed to add to 168. Well, 110 plus something gives me 168. In other words, 168 minus 110 gives me this. So this piece here, 168 minus 110, is 58. Okay. Again, you might be thinking that doesn't help me. I need this. Huh. Well, let's see if we can shed any light on what that is. This inscribed angle, YWX, let me trace it. Green. Y to W to X. Well, the vertex is W, and the arc it intercepts, YX, is this. Now, I wish I knew what yx was. I only know what yz is. It's 58. I don't know zx. If I knew it, I could get this. I would add these up, divide by 2, and get this. Huh. Well, the 
got to remember, circles have 360 degrees in them. So I can get this. If this is 58, and this is 110, and this is 68, I can get this last piece. So I'm going to add them up real quick. i use a calculator because the noodle's not as sharp as I thought it was. 58 plus 68, that's 126 plus 110, that is 236. Okay, so from here to here is 236. And the rest should be whatever you have to add to it to get to 360. So 360 minus 236, 360 minus 236, would give me that this is 124. Remember, how I got this was that I said that these arcs have to add with this to be 360. So 58 plus 110 plus 68 plus something gives me 360. The number has to be 124. All right. Well, almost done. Now I said if I knew these, I could add them up and divide by 2 to get that. That's what we're going to do. 58 plus 124. That gives me 182. And if the arc is 182 degrees, 182, then the inscribed angle is half of it. Half of 182 is 91. You could get these as well. How you would get them, same idea. This inscribed angle here, y, z, x, hits it y all the way to x. So if I add these up and divide by 2, I'll get this. 110 plus 68 is 178. 178 divided by 2 is 89. This inscribed angle, the vertex is y, its endpoints are z and w. So I know this is my arc. So if I add 124 plus 68, I'm going to get 188. I'm sorry, not 188. Where was I? Add these together. I'm going to get uh, one, 192. I'm sorry. You're going to get 192. If you divide that by 2, you're going to get 96. That's better. Okay? The one thing that you'll notice that makes these problems easier is that in cyclic quadrilaterals, the opposite angles are supplementary. They add up to 180. 84 plus 96 is 180. 91 plus 89 is 180. That's a way you can check. It's also a way you can get faster answers. Like right away, as soon as you knew that was 84, you knew that. As soon as you knew that was 89, you knew that was 91. They have to add to 180. All right, that about does it for inscribed angles. Sorry this video is a little longer. I hope that it was informative. And if not, feel free to ask me questions in class.